Hello, friend Jim here with JB's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. And today we're with Winston Tortajada, and he is the owner of Lake Chapala Moving. And thank you, Winston, for taking some time with us pleasure, to, share, to share with us. So one of the things that I get asked is, I know a lot, about folks that made the decision to move to Lake Chapala, but they have no idea of knowing who to talk to. And I get this question because there are three, I understand now, moving companies. I was on the impression there was only two. And I had actually offered to do a video with the other two and I've been declined. So I've been letting folks know that I can't refer either one. But I just recently was basically told about Winston and I feel so great about the fact of us getting together because I can offer them the help that they would need being able to move to move down here. So, um, so what I'm just going to do is, is is let Winston share with you about his company and, and what they do. And uh, they're right here in Lake Chapala. They're right off the Carretera here in San Antonio, uh, close to uh, Super Lake, and. Um, Tony's restaurant and next to uh, Cafe Negro. So they're, they're right here downtown. Uh, they call it San Antonio, right? right it here. is. It downtown is, it San, is San Antonio. Downtown San Antonio. Okay. We used to call it the Central Business District. Central <laughs> Business District. Had a fancy name to yes, it. Yes, <laughs> Okay. So just some things I'd like to, to be able to share with our viewing audience. And for one, share a little bit about yourself and the production of this business. So. What uh, shares about you and maybe what got you into this business? Well, my name is Winston Tortajada. I was born and raised in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Um, we started this business almost 17 years ago because we thought uh, the, the, this part was needed for people trying to come and live here in the lake area, which is what, how we started, servicing the lake area. Uh, I have a major in international business at the University of Guadalajara. I was an exchange student all my life. I went to uh, the University of Indiana in Bloomington, okay. to Washington, D.C. as an exchange student, to Israel. Uh, I mean, every time I had a chance to go places, I went. And when I graduated from uh, university, I started working for Mexico Customs. That was my first job out of, out of uh, college. Uh, I worked for Mexico Customs at the airport, and the fact that they were hiring recently graduated kids was to turn around the bad name that Customs used to have. So we worked for Customs for a couple of years, and then I was hired by a Mexican trucking company that was partnership with a U.S. trucking company. Um, before they even hired me, they took over the Mexican company and we turned into the Mexican division of what in those times were, was called Yellow Freight. Okay. Uh, Yellow Freight eventually purchased their competitor, One Way Express, and then they turned into this big moving corporation, or freight moving corporation called YRC Freight. So I worked for them for 10 more years and then I started my business and uh, so far so good. Fantastic. Well, so as you can tell, he speaks great English. And he's got a great support staff here also. And uh, I was talking with Winston a little bit here before we did the video, just to kind of share with them some of the things I felt was important for our viewing audience to know. But you know what? The customs issue is really an important issue. And it's interesting that he used to work there. Yes. So that's a real plus because you already understand what ends up happening and what to deal with and how to deal with those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Knowing that customs are a real important part of all this, share with us how does that all come into play? What what should our viewers know about when it comes to moving and customs? Okay, the customs clearance process is I'm gonna say one of the most important parts of the equation of moving into Mexico. Okay, um, it is a very simple process if you follow the correct steps, uh, and the way it works is. In our case, we, we are a moving company. We're an international moving broker. So we handle your shipment on your name. And that means that you are not with the shipment at the time of boarding. Okay. So the process is 
that you have to first be a legal resident in, in the countries. That means that you need to have a resident card or a resident visa, and it can be a temporal or a permanent uh, okay. uh, resident visa or resident card. For customs, it makes no difference. And also, you need to have a household goods uh, inventory list stamped and approved by a Mexican consulate or a Mexican embassy abroad. If you're coming from the States or Canada, the, the one nearest to your uh, location. And with those documents, we prove to Mexico customs that you will be living in the country. So that entitles you to bring your households once without paying import taxes on it. Okay? Okay. So it's important that um, you have this in consideration because you have the right to bring your furniture, your clothing, your decorations, your TVs, uh, your kitchenware, every, everything that it's considered a household, uh, you can go ahead and bring it into the country without paying any import taxes. Okay. Uh, for this uh, service, we have our customs uh, brokers at the border, and they take care of the uh, import of the shipment. So once we prove Mexico customs that you will be a legal resident in the country and that your inventory has been stamped and approved by a consulate, we can go ahead and process the shipment through customs. Okay, yeah. fantastic. And that sounds like that's really an important step. It, it is, because without uh, this process, uh, there's no way to bring a household good shipment into the country. Gotcha. If it's not you, I mean, if, if it's you coming, um, holding a trailer, coming to the border, then you can do it. But if you appoint a third party, like a moving company, right. this is the process to follow. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So um, what moving services do you offer? We are a, a full service moving company. We offer packing, inventory, customized crating for delicate items, art, marble tops, glass tops. Um, we offer transportation door to door, uh, customs clearance, border crossing. And then on the delivery end, we unload everything into your house, inside delivery, putting furniture together, Unpacking, if that's the case, a lot of our customers they want us to unwrap the furniture, put it together, and then just put the boxes in the room where they need to go. Gotcha. And then they'll take care of their own unpacking, but unpacking is available too if you need. It. Okay, so so one thing that really is important is the door-to-door -door service, and, yes. and it is good that you, mm -hmm. you know that you do that. Um, do you provide storage at all? Yes, we have a storage available here in Lakeside, okay. and we also have a storage available in our border warehouses in okay. Laredo, in Hidalgo, and in El Paso, Texas. This is for customers that they have the shipment, but they don't have the resident document ready. Okay. So we can hold the shipment at the border for a couple of weeks. Um, or customers that are coming here and the house is not ready, or they're going back, but they haven't purchased a place to live in the States or in Canada. Right. So there's a storage available. Gotcha, for gotcha. Them. Okay. And... Um, what additional supplies would someone be paying for? Or is there like a sheet that they would know upfront cost-wise and everything, and that would all be included? That's an important question. We try to present our quotes with a list, a very clear list of the services that are included on your quote. Okay. This is what you're paying for. And we also provide you in the same quote with a list of services that are not included. Okay. okay. That way, like for example, if you have something not declared or illegal and there's a fine, then of course that's not included on your quote. You need to okay. take care of that. If uh, a trailer gets uh, stopped by customs or it, we incur it to track your detention because something was wrong uh, with your inventory mm -hmm. because it wasn't done uh, the correct way and it's it has to do with the customer, then that's not included. But again, we try to make it as clear as possible. Okay. So our customers feel confident that the quote that we're presenting is what they're going to pay. Fantastic. Um, what, what we do with them is that we work until we find the final shipping scenario for them. Gotcha. And, and uh, we take it from there. Unless you decide to ship something else, add things to the shipment, then, of course, there'll be an additional charge, but that's uh, work beforehand with them. Gotcha. Gotcha. And do you offer shipment tracking? Yes. We use carriers in the States and Mexico that allow us to track your shipment door to door. We get a tracking uh, a number from them okay. from the moment they pick up the shipment and to the moment we deliver it. Okay, good to, and that's good to know. Um, 
is do you provide binding estimates? Let me just kind of share with you what I'm, what I'm asking about, and that is one of the things that I have found out about when talking to customers about the costs of moving, and that is if there isn't a binding of the contract, you could be stuck with or surprised when they when you get ready to move the day of moving. Ah, there's yeah. other fees involved. I understand that. No, that, that's what we try to stay away from that by presenting our quotes based on volume. Okay. Because volume shuts the door for somebody to come back to you and say, Jim, we reweighted the shipment and you had 10,000 extra pounds, so now you owe us this additional money. Okay. What we do is we work our quotes based on volume because it's super transparent, not only for our customers because they're able to um, see the space that they're going to end up using, but also for our origin agents and for our transportation carriers. Okay. So everybody's in the same page. Uh, we know that we are hauling 14 feet inside a 28 footer, then that's what you're paying for. And that's what we okay. give you a quote for. Okay? okay. To prevent price changes like that. And that's an important thing. And you know, one of the things I found when I was actually looking online, and uh, before I, I met with Winston, I should say some time back, is that's a real surprise. I mean, literally, they could show up at your front door, they're getting ready to move you, and you find out that it's going to be several hundred dollars, or even thousands of dollars more than what they were expecting. And, and the secret also to, to keep that from happening mm -hmm. is have a pre-survey done. We send our agents to visit you, and, uh, and this has no cost and obligation for the customers. We just want to make sure that when, they, that when we put a quote together for you, it's based on what we saw at your house. It's based on what you showed our agent what you were taking with you right and 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 that's it it's it's super important to perform a pre-move survey before the shipment actually gets picked up to be loaded and transported because we allow yourself to obtain a quote based on exactly what you need like a tailor-made quote for you wow and that's really important because i have heard there's other ways that um, items being shipped are actually calculated by and what you're talking about you said a really important word and that was transparent mm -hmm. that's that says that here's a business with integrity I mean that's that's a big thing that's a big deal especially if you're coming from the states yes. to Mexico and you're not aware of all the rules and the laws and all those kind of things to have somebody come right to your house and take a look at everything Make sure when the quote's being done, it's a quote that they can count on. Yes. When somebody's up the front door. And it's super important because, again, I hate as a consumer to be surprised. Right, right. So we hate to surprise her. Sure, sure. So the best way to do it is be very clear what's included and what size of the shipment are we calculating with. Uh, try to stay away from companies that will give you a ballpark figure. Right. Because uh, they will give you a, a quote for a smaller shipment. And then they show up, and then they want to charge you for, you know, what it actually was. And they, they most of the time, they knew. Yeah. They knew you had something bigger. They right. just wanted to get, you know, the foot on the door. Right. So, no, a, a premium survey, uh, it's basic for getting a quote uh, just uh, that reflects your final shipping scenario. Wow. Wow. That's really powerful. That That's important. Um, here's another thing that I know that ends up being something that can be done with shipping. And that is an important question that sometimes doesn't get asked. But what happens if something gets lost or damaged? Okay, for that, we have insurance available. Uh, we use an insurance company that all they do is insure household goods shipment. They're specialized in household goods shipments. And the way it works is our customer gives a value to the shipment. We can either choose from them giving a value to every single item on the shipment or letting us know what the high value items are especially those items with you know ten thousand dollars or more of individual value so we create a high value list and then we give the rest of the shipment an amount and add it up and that's you you know the, the amount that is going to cover your shipment gotcha uh, and, and it's a company based in the states so uh, it's again it, it, in, the, in the event of a claim we help you fill out the forms we support it with delivery documents. Uh, we mark things. If something got damaged, we need to mark it. Then we need to take a picture, and then we need to put up a file 
together so we can present it to the insurance company. But yeah, wow. there is insurance available for our customers. Wow. And that really gives peace of mind. It, yeah. I call it peace of mind. When a yeah. customer says, Winston, what value would I give to my shipment? I have no clue how much would my household goods right. are worth. And I always tell them, think on a figure that will bring you some peace of mind. Right. Not on wood, but let's say the shipment disappears. Uh, what will bring you some peace of mind? Uh, right. I know it's, it's like the worst case scenario, but right. have that in mind. So w when you're calculating the shipment, uh, value for insurance purposes, think in terms of it just vanishing. And, and wow. then that will give you, it's a good mind exercise yeah. to, you know, to calculate. That's valuable. Really, really valuable. Um, tell me, I, I know there are folks that are going to be watching this that probably have like pianos or organs or things that are larger mm -hmm. or they want to bring their hot tub or um, do you also transport those kind of things too? If somebody wants to bring those kind of things into Mexico. Yes, we do. And again, that's, again, th this is why a pre-move survey is important because we can go to their homes and then we know they have a grand piano or they have an antique China cabinet that it has been in the family for a hundred years right. or a valuable piece of art or a statue, sometimes marble tops or glass tops that belong to a beautiful table. So we do a special crating for those items. And we also do a special handling for heavier or bulky items like hot tubs, pianos. Uh, sometimes it's uh, very specific computer equipment that needs to be handled properly. We have boxes that you know can bring TVs or computers that are very expensive, like they're floating inside. There's always a way to find uh, the, the safest uh, uh, mean of transportation for a, for a dedicated item. Wow, wow. So just, and I, I had a whole sheet of things here to, to talk to Winston about. So um, I think we've pretty much have covered all the notes and the things. Oh, I know something I wanted to ask you. There are three moving companies here, mm -hmm. you being one of them. Mm -hmm. Why would someone choose you over the other two that are in town? Share that with me. That's an important question. It's, I'm going to say the three of us are professional companies based in the Lakes area, but the difference is the way we approach the process of moving you into Mexico. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to say the one thing that differs us from the others is that we based our quote on volume. Okay. Um, that is very important because, again, it shuts the door for an overcharge. Right. or a surprise charge later on. Uh, for the rest, I'm, I'm, I think we all follow the process established by Mexico Customs to bring shipments into the country. And, and it's like, you know, a present wrapped in many different ways. We're, right. one of, we're one of those ways. So our approach, it's, you know, more oriented for you to feeling what you are getting is what you pay for. Right. And don't be surprised at the end. And, and also, it's a, it's a decision-making process for right, the customers. Right, right, So right. We, are, we try to give them as much information as we can so they can evaluate their options. Right. So sometimes a customer will say, Winston, thank you. With all the information you gave me, I decided to bring nothing. And, and, and it was a pleasure dealing with you. And it's a pleasure helping them. Right. And sometimes a customer will say, Winston, thank you. We walk out of experience feelings. We feeling we brought what we need to bring and nothing else or nothing more. Right. So we're fine with that. that. That's the idea. Help you with as much information as we can so you can make a good decision. Well, something I, I really want to make this comment, and that is when Barbara and I were looking at moving here from Albuquerque, um, how we were going to ship our items here was really an important thing because we knew that we were either going to have to hire somebody to do it or, or bring things down ourselves. And um, after talking to, I didn't know that you that you were in business here. I, I'd never heard about you. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize that, that you were sitting here in this office here. <laughs> and, uh, but it's really, um, I, I got to tell you, for the trust that our viewers put in me about the information I share and um, taking care of them and making sure that they're coming with just the anxiety is as low as possible mm -hmm. and the stress. 
I, I got to tell you, I, I've known Winston now for maybe an hour. But what's really important to me is integrity. And you really have the integrity. You've talking about transparency. Not all businesses are going to talk about that. There's always those hidden things that come up that are really, really um, just doesn't make an experience very good at all. Yeah. And so, for one, I want you to know I really feel good here being being with you, Winston, and what you, we've talked about. And so, in in closing here, share. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with the viewing audience? Anything else? To start with, it's I know it's an important decision. You, right. you are deciding to leave your home then right. and come to live to a different country. Right. So finding the right service providers, and I'm, to, I'm, not, I'm not only talking about movers, real estate agent, facilitators in the lakeside area, doctors, dentists, immigration lawyers. Right. It's, it's, you know, the best way to approach it, painless or as painless as possible right, for you. Right. Um, it's very important that you count with professionals uh, that can, you know, take some of the worrying out of your back right. and take care of their part of the equation of bringing you to live into Mexico. Right. Well, I, um, I really feel good about being here with Winston. Feel good about being sure, here with you. you. Thank you. And um, as there are some of you, I'm sure, to be watching this that have probably wondered why I have not uh, had videos of the other two movers. And quite frankly, they just didn't see the value of meeting with me and doing anything on YouTube. And I think there's a real value here of getting the word out because, you know, unless we would have done this video, folks would have thought there's only two companies in town. Yeah. I've been here for a year and a half now, and now I know there are three. And it's a pleasure meeting you, Milton. And, and I, I will tell you too that um, that's where my heart is: is to really provide quality value for people who are moving down here to make their experience a lot better. And so, so friend, I, I hope this has been helpful for you. You're coming down. Uh, I'm going to have all of Winston's information and contact information and everything in the description of the video. But I want to encourage you, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's a great community. I know you want to be a part of it. All you've got to do is go to the bottom right-hand corner. There's a little square box. It's red. Tap on it. You're subscribed. You'll know when our next video comes out. Also, give us one of those thumbs up that lets other people know it's a great video to watch about retiring here at Lake Chapala. Stop by. Say hi. Ask a question. Let us know of an idea that you'd like to see in a video. And also make sure you hit the bell because that way you'll be immediately notified. When our next video comes out, you don't want to miss our next video. So with that, again, Winston, thank you so much for thank taking the time. Too. He's busy. I can tell he's been busy when people come in and, into the <laughs> office here and everything. But uh, but I, I, I appreciate so much you taking the time. It really, really makes a difference. A pleasure. It'll be a pleasure to see you home soon. Yes, yes. Okay. So with that, as always, thank you for supporting this channel and this community. Have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next video.